Hi guys, it's Lauren and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I know you all may be wondering what this girl who's on YouTube looking like this right now. Well, I have to ask you all just... So, in this week's video, I am really going to be stepping out of my comfort zone. I am going to be dressing as different aesthetics different aesthetics and I'm sure you all know all those girls on TikTok and Pinterest who dress in these pretty different aesthetics like cottage core, soft girl, indie kid, all of these things guys I'm going to be covering this week in this video. So if you all want to see how I achieve all these looks, continue watching this video until the end. And just a little disclaimer, all the items that I'm going to be using in this video is strictly from what I have in my closet. So that is really putting myself to a challenge, y'all, because I'm not the most fashionable person. I think I keep things really simple when it comes to dressing and my style. So that is going to be a challenge, but we're going to get through this. I'm going to try to get outfits. And it might not be the best or it might not be exact. I'm going to be kicking off the first aesthetic with drum roll, the eagle aesthetic y'all and this is the one that I'm most excited for Woo! just because eagle aesthetic is really out there. It's a lot of dark black clothing, it's a lot for me and what I'm accustomed to but hey we're going to get through this and we're going to try to make the best of the items that we're working with. Without anything else being said, let's get right into today's video. So firstly, before I get started, I need to put my hair up y'all because it's just really in the way. And I think we're off to a good start because as y'all can see, I'm wearing black right now. So I think that's a good start. We already gonna be getting in a groove, getting in the mood to complete this eagle look. I'm gonna include some pictures here to give you all the inspo of the eagle makeup. So as y'all can see, it's a lot of bright pink eyeshadow, huge winged eyeliner. They usually wear hearts or stars or cloud shades things on their face and like bright blush and highlights so I'm gonna do that I already have some powder on my face but it's not a lot so I'm gonna be adding some more I have all the makeup here on this little tray that I'm gonna be working with I have a mirror so I'm gonna be looking this way firstly I'm gonna apply some more powder to my face So I think this is enough powder and next up I'm going to focus on the eyes and doing the eyeshadow and doing the eyeliner. And I'm probably the worst person at eyeliner so I'm going to be using this tape to place here to try to get it as best as I could. Okay so now I have the two pieces of tape here as you all can see and we're going to get started. So I'm having a huge problem because the only eyeshadow palette that I had with pink in it. I recently threw away and I don't think regret that decision now. Yes. Now seeing that I have to use pink, so I have no pink, so we're going to try to work with something guys. Don't think I'm crazy for this, but I'm planning to use this pink lipstick on my eyelids as the pink eyeshadow. So we're going to see how this works out because I don't know if this is the best thing to do, but I'm just going to take some of my finger. Hey, it's actually showing up and that is all that matters. So the lipstick trick work guys, you could see how bright. It's looking, it's looking just like I shadow on this thing on it's gonna move. But over this, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this orangey sort of eyeshadow shade. And this one has some sparkles in it just to add a little extra to it. So this is how it's looking so far. I don't know why it's looking so orange on camera, but it's more pink in real life. But the orange added some glitter to it. Next door. Is the tricky part now we're gonna have to apply the winged eyeliner so I have this liquid one and I also have a pencil now the liquid one I think it's really hard if I make a mistake to wipe it off so, so I decided to go with the black pencil just because I think I'm gonna have more control in terms of forming the wing So I'm trying to get this as best as possible y'all. This is really hard for me because there's times in the past that I've tried to do winged eyeliner. And I would have tried so much, so many attempts and had to constantly wipe it off that I felt like the skin here was hurting so badly. So I tried my best and this is how it came out. 
and we're gonna have to work with this now I'm gonna pull out these tapes and apply some eyeliner to the bottom of my eyes so I'm just done with the eyeliner and doing my eyebrows next so I'm gonna move on to mascara This is how it's currently looking. I think we're looking really good. I just applied three coats of mascara and next up I am going to apply the blush. So I need to go really heavy on the blush. Eagles go crazy on blush you all. Their cheeks, their nose, they put blush everywhere. I think this could be enough blush. You could see how much I put that is looking so pink. Oh my goodness. Next up, I am going to draw the heart. So I think I'm going to draw the heart right under my eyes here and here using the same black eyeliner pencil. Hey okay guys, so mommy just drew the heart to me with this eye pencil, but it's not coloring it's in as good. So now I'm going to have no choice but to use the liquid one and fill it in. Okay guys, so this is as best as I'm getting the hat and we're going to have to work with it honestly. I don't know how some girls can do this every single day. Like those eagles, wow, they really put me work you up because I never knew drawing two little hats took so much effort. Next off, I'm going to move on to the lips and for the lips, I saw some of the eagles had pink lips and some had black lips. I'm going all out and I'm going to be doing the black lips. Okay guys, so this is how the lip turned out. Next off, I'm going to add some highlights. And then we're going to be done with this entire makeup look. So now that we're done with the makeup, I'm going to go ahead and throw on my eagle outfit. And I'll be back for you all. And for the day, I'm just going to wear my hair down. Because in most of the pictures, the girls had their hair down. to be dressing as the artsy aesthetic and this is one that I'm really excited about as well because I think that it's a very interesting aesthetic and the people surrounded in this group they like a lot of nature based things like flowers and scenery and painting and just art in general and I think that their style is wow their style is awesome it's really nice and it's something that I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun trying so out. they like a lot of graphic tees and yellow clothing they love yellow and even stripes which is what I'm going to be wearing today and when it comes to denim they love mom jeans and denim shorts and overalls and their hairstyles are usually really fun and funky they do like space buns or messy hair and when it comes to accessories they love to wear statement earrings and even these big shades and glasses for the makeup it's a very natural and simple Okay, so since we're doing artsy and artists like color, you know, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of blue right here and here just for that extra pop. Okay guys, so I'm done with the makeup and I think I did a pretty good job at trying to keep it natural and simple. Next off, I'm going to jump into my artsy outfit and then I will do my hair and accessorize and show you all the final look. I just put on my artsy outfit, not that you all can see it as yet but I will show you all in a while. Now I'm just here debating on which one of these I should wear. So let's see which one looks better.
Okay guys, so I did not film any other looks but I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment for part 2. See you all next time. Bye!